Hey there, Claire. How are you? Uh, this is Leo. I spoke with you on the phone. I uh, really appreciate you being so polite. That was awesome. Uh, that actually made made the rest of my day uh, much better. You was the last person I needed to talk to today, and you made it an awesome experience, and I really appreciate that. Uh, if I could just get to this custom video, a lot of times, you know, people don't know who an expert is and who's not, so they don't know who to work with. That's why I like shooting these custom videos mm -hmm. so you can see my level of expertise in the things that I know. So that's the problem. A lot of times is people don't know who, who to deal with, who to work with. Uh, and with all the, I'm just trying to get a hold of you about your extended warranty calls. They, they make it really hard on me whenever I'm trying to, uh, help local companies out. Uh, and that's all I do is I try to help local roofing companies, uh, rank higher on Google. And what I do is I just find people on the pages further back and try to help them. Uh, I've been an underdog my whole life. I've fought hard for everything that I have, and I don't have anything against the people on the front page at all. Uh, but I just know how it is to be stuck in a situation and not know how to get out of it. So I'm more of a black sheep, and I like to help the black sheep. And to me, the black sheep roofing companies are the one that's not on the first page. Uh, and I love it whenever I can get a client to that first page. They're ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. It's just awesome. Um, so, uh, if you're wondering why I'm making this video or what I get out of it, I actually don't get anything out of it. You can take these tricks and tips and apply it to your website yourself. Uh, like I said, I promise you, you will see results if you do the things that I show you and you'll start increasing your rank. Uh, my value lies in the companies that don't want to do it themselves. They don't know how to do it. Um, then they hire me and I come in and help rank them. So what I do normally, Claire, is I first get a website and uh, I can tell by your bar over here on the side that your website's got a lot of content on the front page. Sometimes these bars are halfway down. So coming right in here, I, I love that you got your call to action up here at the top. Uh, if somebody's got an emergency roof repair, they're not trying to look at your website. They're just trying to come in and get a number. Uh, but the people that do actually have time to scroll and see what, what your company is about. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful page, honestly. I, I love the pictures. I love the layout. It's very simple. When I say simple, any site I build is simple because I like it to be easily read and navigated and understood. So simple is a dear term for me. Uh, I actually put your homepage in a word counter. On this first page, you want about 1,500 to 2,000 words, and that's because Google sends out robots that crawls your site. They're looking for keywords in your content, so the more content you have, the more they crawl, and they give you dings and points, you know. In layman's terms, you get a point for all the keywords and things that it finds. The more points you accumulate, the higher you move up in the ranks. So that is... Um, I put this in a word counter that it was right under 1200 words, which is not bad at all. And then you've got an opportunity on all these back pages to have five to 750 words. And that is command content. That's just not any kind of random words. It has to do with what your site is, what your company is, things like that. Um, I wanted to show you something here also, Claire, just because you were so nice and so awesome on the phone. See how this is saved, this picture is saved. This is an opportunity missed. This is eight opportunities missed right here, 12, 15 opportunities missed. So what you do is you go in here and you rename all these to Louisville, Kentucky Roofing, Roofing Louisville, Kentucky, Roofers Louisville, Kentucky, Roofing Louisville, Kentucky. Anything like that, those are buyer intent keywords. Uh, Google doesn't see these beautiful shingles. They don't see all this. All they see is what is saved. So when Google's bots crawl these sites, they don't see these awesome shingles. This is what they see, and these are not buyer intent keywords. So these need to be replaced with something like Roofers Lexington or Roofers Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and for your other other sites for Lexington and for Somerset you're going to need location pages on here as well. So you're going to need something with location. So you'll have a Lexington, Louisville, and Somerset. 
roof insulation, roof repair, roof inspection. So you can rank in each one of these cities. So if anybody's in Lexington and they're searching roofers, Lexington, Kentucky, you'll pop up to the top. Same for Louisville and same for Somerset. Okay. So homepage, 1500 to 2000 words. Uh, and like I said, you're pretty close on that homepage. So I just add a little bit more content to that. And then your back pages, make sure they're hitting between five to 750. Now what I do is um, take your number one competitor, which is uh, roofyourhouse.com, and I go see what their site is talking about. And the whole reason I'm even contacting you today is because if I don't feel like we can beat out these people, or if I don't feel like that I can help you rank, I don't even waste my time with a call because it, it hurts me and it hurts my business if I take you on as a client knowing that I can't help you rank. And then what are you going to do? You're going to leave a review about that. So I like for my clients to be five-star reviews. So I won't even take a client on if I don't even think I can help them. So that's the main reason I've reached out today is because I know that I can help help this company out. On their back pages, you can see that they don't have five to 750 keywords either. And they're missing their opportunities for having uh, Louisville and Lexington on their website because they need to have Louisville roof repair and Lexington roof repair so they can um, gain traction in these in both cities and for you it would be all three so you're probably asking well if you have way more content than them how are you on the third page and they're on the first page well I'm going to show you I have a web crawler tool right here and what it does is I've got I've got you put in here and then I have your number one competition here okay so we went over content. Now this is backlinks. Backlinks is simply your URL is in another site, in a review, uh, mentioned in a blog, mentioned on a guest post, somewhere where someone can click that link and it takes it back to your home page. So if I clicked your link on a roof blog, it would take me straight here, which is driving organic traffic. So that's the thing about backlinks. Backlinks help bring your site from somewhere else on the internet's page to yours and each backlink uh, is created differently not all backlinks are created equal so you could have five and your top competitor can have five but if they have five from pizza hut reviews and you have five from roofing blog reviews you're going to outrank them and that's an extreme example but that's basically it you want to get your backlinks from sites that have good strength and good trust and that's what the ur and the dr mean this is the strength of a site this is a trust and actually yours is, yours is not too bad you want these numbers as close as possible and this is out of a hundred so the more powerful backlinks you get the more these numbers will grow as well um, what i can do is i can go into your competitors backlinks and i can see where they get their backlinks from and then all i have to do is go to those same sites you know, fill out forms or register or whatever they had to do and then I could enter your URL in there and there you go you've got a backlink from the same exact spot that they've got theirs um, and then also I was talking about the keywords the keywords are phrases or keywords that is entered into Google that are buyer intent and again that is roofing louisville kentucky roofers lexington kentucky things like that is showing that people are intending on needing services so they've got 695 organic keywords and let's see how many we got over here that site took a second to load up so that's why i just pushed on to the keywords so we can cover that too so We've got 11, 1100. You have 1100 organic keywords. They have 695. But this, there, these keywords are powerful. I've already checked them out. These keywords are drawing this much traffic, and this traffic is generating this much extra income a month. And I think the number is actually higher than that, but that is what AREFs have. And that's my paid tool. My web crawler tool is AREFs. And let's see what you all have. They got 695 with um, 
organic keywords that's drawn 738 for 11,000. So you've actually got more keywords, but look at the organic traffic. And that's because you're missing keywords on those photos. Roofing companies, Lexington, Kentucky is actually a buyer intent keyword. So that's a good job. Lexington Roofer is not. I would add Lexington, Kentucky Roofer. Lexington, Kentucky Roofers. Roofer, Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, roof shingle types is really not a buyer intent keyword. That is a national keyword. Roofers in Lexington, right here, Roofing Repair Lexington, Kentucky. This right here is driving 100 people a month to your site. So what you do is you have that content on your home page and your back pages, and you will put in a word like Roofing Repair Lexington, Kentucky. And when those bots crawl your site, they see this phrase right here, and they ping it. Ping, there is a point for you. Then they keep crawling your site, roofing companies, Lexington, Kentucky. Ping, there's another one. Okay, this one is actually a good one. This one is has a search volume of 800 people a month are searching for this exact phrase, and the keyword difficulty is six. I like to stay with any keyword under 10 because it doesn't take as long to rank. Uh, roof shingle, see this is a very national word. So there's 37 and it's a 47, uh, 3700 volume and 47 KD to rank keyword difficulty. And that would take well over a year to rank. But once it's ranked, it's there. Uh, so that's what I want to talk to you about today, Claire, was the content on your homepage needs to be 1500 to 2000 words. Um, your back pages need to be five to 750 words. And then we covered your backlinks and then we cover keywords. Uh, now one more thing I wanted to let you know you can do is super easy is you can get a something called a citation and a citation is simply a nap, a name, address, phone number, your business name, address, and phone number. And you can go to yellow pages, Yelp, Yext, white pages, anywhere like that, set up an account and put your company's information in. That's going to count as a backlink. And that is a citation, which further gives you more strength and trust to your site. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today. It took a little longer than I expected. And that's your fault because I use being so nice. So I showed you a couple extra things with the keywords um, and the picture content. So make sure you get those pictures and uh, images geotagged with the correct keywords. And I notice a lot of Lexington keywords. Um, you'll need the keywords. That's what I'm saying for each page. So your Lexington, Somerset, and Louisville pages need to have roofing, Somerset, Kentucky, roofing, Lexington, Kentucky, roofing, Louisville, Kentucky. That way you rank in each one of those cities independently. Um, I hope you all take these tips and tricks and apply it to your website. I promise you, if you do the things in here, you will see ranking. You will start increasing, and I know you can get to that second page soon and then push up to that first page. Uh, if it's something that you don't want to mess with or you don't have time to do, I totally understand. You can give me a call. We can schedule a time to have a phone call. We can talk about things that you want to do to increase uh, profits, increase employees, generate more houses to do. Whatever your end goal is, I, I am here to try to help you achieve it. Uh, so I hope to hear from you again. My name is Leo Arona from Arona Marketing. My phone number is 270-841-3600. I will be emailing you from my uh, personal email. So feel free to give me some feedback on this video. Good or bad, I uh, love constructive criticism. So if there's something that you feel like I could change, let me know. If there's something that you really liked about this video, please let me know. Um, I really enjoy you taking the time to watch this, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks, Claire.